Hey guys, welcome back to Mark Dillon Triple X. Uh, again, I hope you all are having a fantastic holiday season. Uh, I was just with my best friend Casey Williams walking through the uh, city of San Francisco over in the Knob Hill Union Square area. Uh, I love seeing the shopping and all the big Christmas trees and decorations in the stores. I love this time of the year and I hope you guys are, are enjoying it as well. So to get to today's question, which is from Peter. Uh, hey Mark, I enjoy your website and YouTube channel. Just curious, do you think couples should get tested regularly? My boyfriend and I are in a monogamous but a relationship, but occasionally bring in a third to play with. My boyfriend doesn't think it's so important to get tested because we are always safe with a third person. Thanks, Peter. Uh, Peter, thank you for the question. First of all, um, before I get too deeply into your question, I think a good answer is that anything that gives you peace of mind, you should do. So if testing makes you feel good uh, and, and feel comfortable and safe and protected, I, I think that it's a great idea for you to go get tested regularly, whether you're in a committed relationship or not. Uh, now, from my personal experience, I have had a couple friends who have become HIV positive while they were in these um, committed relationships. So, um, you know, not to plant a seed of suspicion in your mind or, or anything like that, but if you're bringing in a third person, there's always a chance that there's more extracurricular play going on than what you may know about. Um, hopefully there's not. But again, if unless you're both willing to say 100%, the only people we ever want to sleep with for the rest of our lives are each, is each other, there's always that, you know, window that something could be happening that you don't know about. And um, I think that it would be, you know, wise for you to sit down, explain to your boyfriend it's not a trust issue, you're not, you're not worried that he's going to give you something, but it just makes you feel comfortable if you can go as a couple and get tested, let's say, every six months. And uh, I, I don't know why he would uh, not do that. So... Uh, and, you know, another thing to keep in mind is there's more than just HIV that you, you can contract from bringing in a third person, even if you're safe. Gonorrhea, chlamydia, syphilis, herpes, uh, any number of things. So just the fact that you are bringing in a third person, whether, even, if, even though it's safe, there are things that you can get. Uh, some of it may not even be symptomatic. So it's great to get yourself screened for those things, too. Uh, very often when we think testing, we always think HIV, HIV. We have to get tested for that. But there's so many other things out there that you're likely to contract that are actually quite easily treated um, and can be troublesome if left untreated. So uh, it is important to go get yourself screened. And I think that it would be great if you could do it as a couple. Uh, that certainly would help reduce the anxiety. Um, and, and I think that it is a, that's a great thing. Uh, you should certainly do it, and I think you should encourage your partner to do it as well. Uh, again, and make sure you, during the conversation with your partner, you don't lead him to think that this is uh, somehow you're worried that he's going to give you something. Just explain that it's for your peace of mind, and again, because you're bringing in a third, there's any number of other things you could get, even though you're safe, and this will make you feel more comfortable and hopefully he will um, he'll support you in that decision. I would be a little bit skeptical if after you sit down and you explain that to him if he's still refusing to do it. Uh, then I would want to know why and what the big deal is. Anyway, Peter, thank you very much. Guys, thanks again for tuning in to MarkDillon.XXX. Continue to enjoy your holidays. Stay safe.